Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Borderlands Part 71. In the last part, we just made our way over to the shed over here, and uh, the reason I came over here was for a special item. I don't know if it's uh, glowing right now. Just uh, checking. Alright, I guess not. I uh, guess we have to get a side quest for that later, but there is a lever that is usually here that uh, we can grab, so... Getting a little ahead of myself. But uh, it is a safe zone, so if you are being chased by uh, a lot of those skags and just kind of want to take a breather, you can come up here. So, uh, the other thing we can do is a little hidden quest. If you don't know about it, you probably won't be getting it. So, uh, let me check my menu real quickly. Let's see, over to the map. So, uh, yeah, right over here to the, uh, what is that, to the right side? Yeah, it is. Oops, I see you. You almost got me. <laughs> but not so fast. Wow, I can't even hit anything. There we go. I always got to reload after every little encounter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> little. Oh, well. Um, yeah, right up here, um, I don't know if they're going to be spawning. I think I got most of them. At least a trigger most of them. But right over here, uh, there's a little hidden alcove. And uh, you just have to head in here and investigate this sh uh, little shed over here. Ooh, shops have new inventory. I guess we can check that out later. But right over here, we open up this chest, and uh, what do we have here? What the heck? It's a little thing. Atlas Transponder Radar, when installed in the Lancer vehicle, allows the driver to find hidden Atlas weapon caches. So, Lost Loots. You found a strange device which appears to be a special radar for the Lancer. The manual reads, when installed, this transponder detector allows the driver to find Atlas supply stashes that were deemed irretrievable at the end of the first occupation. The transponder pulse will appear on the radar when you are near a stash. The brighter the pulse, the closer you are. The green crosshair appears in the radar when you are directly on top of the stash. At this point, someone must jump out and dig up the stash. If the entire radar is green, you have already retrieved that hidden stash. So yeah, we got five stashes, uh, and I know exactly where they all are. At least, uh, most, um, close enough that I can say that. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we're, we're heading over to the left side here, because uh, we also have another quest from Athena, if you remember back. We got uh, the Bitches of Payback Part 2. So, yeah, it'll be nice to take care of that right now, since uh, we are actually heading into the back part of uh, where General Ajax is. I think he's General, right? Eh, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Whatever. It's not, you know, the end of the world. So, as we head down through here, I think Skag should be spawning. Yeah, I was wondering when they do that. Actually, come back here. I would rather have uh, the uh, corrosive one out. There we go. As long as you haven't hit and you call him back, you can uh, easily uh, get him to uh, come back and attack everything. Which is amazing! Oops. More fucking explosions. God, I hate these things. I wish I had my uh, pestilent defiler right now, but I don't. Be nice though. Ooh, nice. Stop jumping at me. One more. Two more. Okay. Well, go Bloodwing! <laughs> Recharging quick enough that I don't really worry about it too much. Ooh, wow, it killed him in one hit. Amazing. So those skags over there, I believe we can uh, ignore. Not entirely sure. So we can check our map real quick, just for that. So, yeah, we want this way. If we are uh, heading to the backside of General uh, Ajax. And uh, the neat thing about Ajax is uh, he's a rocketeer troop. But the cool thing is, uh, as a rocketeer troop, he has a special uh, machine gun called Ajax's Spear. And uh, special red text letters, uh, it says, uh, heck. You know, for kicking Hector bitch ass. So, yeah. Think back to, like, you know, the Troy stuff. The Odyssey. <laughs> or whatever. And, uh, it can sometimes spawn a decent machine gun, actually. But most of the time that I've, uh, tried going for it and farmed it, I didn't have too much luck with it. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. There we go. Another critical. Let's see if we can get another critical here. There we go. Ajax should be spawning soon enough. Just wondering when. And, uh, yes, we do have to deal with Devastators here. Uh, they do have that Shotgun Blast, which has uh, quite a bit of knockback, but as long as you get critical hits on their face, uh, we should be fine. 
So there we go. We got like four more to deal with anyways. So it looks like only it's only Ajax attacking us. So uh that's not gonna last very long. Hmm, I remembered him looking a little different. He was more purple than he is now. And uh from what I see right now, he's shooting at me, but it's exploding, and that's exactly what you want to see out of the uh, Ajax's spear. You want uh if it's exploding means it has the explosive mod on it, so hell yes, this is a very rare uh, uh, drop. <laughs> and very good for uh, Brick, if you do have a Brick character, spec to the Blaster Master uh, class mod. So definitely worth your time if you can get uh, and score this uh, kind of uh, the Ogre Ajax's spear. So which is pretty much two, uh, a unique and a legendary mixed in one, which is quite nice. So I've been trying to search for that gun forever, but uh, I get it at level 34, and I just I need to find one that's like a level 68. <laughs> no such luck. Oh well. So uh, such is the you know luck of me, You're not even using that character, and I get it. Usually when I do farm, I farm with another character and use like a split screen character to uh, you know uh, trade things between everyone. So it's not difficult to do. So there we go, shot cores, and we got another transponder, so I'm just going to shut up and let you guys have another listen to it. General Knox update to Admiral, uh, oh, for God's sakes, I'm not saying that anymore, jeez. I still have not received further mission orders despite re-establishing the Crimson Lance outpost on the highway to ensure the security of the depot and control transportation. I even retrofitted our soldier force with newer and more energy-efficient weaponry, increasing our efficiency by 12%. Admiral, I expect a full... General Knox update to Admiral, uh, oh, for God's sakes, I'm not... Sorry serious. about that, seems like a, the, uh, I recording kind of glitched out, so I <laughs> tricked it, uh, restarted as, uh, just go to the menu and exit out. On the highway to ensure the security of the depot and control transportation. I even retrofitted our soldier force with newer and more energy efficient weaponry, increasing our efficiency by 12%. Admiral, I expect a full report within the hour, or I will be bringing this matter to higher authority. Knox out. So yeah, we would probably only list, uh, miss the last part of that transmission, but I uh, just decided to restart it anyways. So uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about going back to that Lancer, even though uh, actually we do need to go back that way anyways. But uh, this is much easier to take out uh, Ajax this way. So you could use the Lancer if... Uh, oh, we'll, we'll just teleport the driver's seat then. So you see uh, we have a new little thing and it'll uh, beat faster and faster as we get closer to the item, so which is right here. You can see it on the ground already. So exit out. Come over here. Activate chest. Usually uh, you're not going to find anything too useful, anyways. So uh, I'm not too worried about it. We can turn that back in once we reach uh, where we need to. In the meantime, uh, that chest is done. Uh, these drifters should have respawned by now because uh, they're annoying assholes like that. Woo! Direct hit. Get out of here. There we go. Where's the other one? There he is. I see you. Annoying thing. Took more shots than necessary. There we go. Maybe one more? Alright, good. So we have another uh, Crimson Lance chest just right up here at the uh, crossroads, or uh, this area. See you right next to here. You can see it jutting out. Well, I can, because I, <laughs> I know where to look. Yeah, but they try to kind of disguise them into the, uh, into the uh, area. It's not bad, not bad at all. So let's continue moving on. And uh, we are going to need to switch uh, vehicles soon anyways, because uh, we can't do that loop-de-loop, -loop, which is right over there, uh, in this Lancer. It just does not have the speed to make that uh, whole loop. So I'm expecting a, a drifter to pop up right now. Okay, guess not. Turn around real quick, just to make sure there's a drifter. I knew, I knew, I knew one was here. Let's see, they're doing pretty decent damage to us. But I'm not too worried about it, because I can take him out quick enough. 
So we still got two stashes to get. Don't really care for them. Alright, let's keep going. Just turn right around this corner. Uh, the next stash is located next to the loop-de-loop. -loop. So I guess I can take care of that now. But first, uh, I would like to take care of these drifters that are going to be appearing nearby. Annoying pieces of crap. Okay, why is he heading towards me? How did he see me already? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get out of here. There we go. Two drifters down. Alright, let's, uh... Let's get into the racer. It's probably the most appropriate vehicle for this anyways. So, uh, what I like to do is kind of head over here. And, uh... Line myself. Oops. A little too far. Alright, is it right here? We good? Yeah, we're good here. So, uh, what you like to do is boost right at the base of the ramp and go a hard right and then a hard left as soon as you reach the halfway point. So, hard left, hard right. Oh, did not complete it. Just barely. And look at all those fucking drifters. Ugh. So annoying. And it's ridiculous how fast their spawn rates are. But, uh, we can take care of that. I don't want the Lancer, damn it. So, I'll just kind of lock on and I'll just kind of sit back and be lazy about this. My favorite way. <laughs> so, drifter, 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 goodbye. Get out of here. I don't want your kind in this place. Oh. I actually triggered him, got close enough. And this one, I can kind of take him out from far range. As soon as the missiles get close to a target, they do start homing in, and it uh, doesn't matter who you're locked onto, it's just whoever the nearest target usually is. So, get right back out of the vehicle once again. Uh, there is a red chest, we'll come check that out later. Right now, uh, more importantly, we want to get this loop-de-loop uh, -loop thing done. Just kind of boost around, make a sharp turn, let's try this once more. Hard right, a little bit left. There we go. I usually never make it past that because uh, it's not designed very well. I mean, I'm pretty sure this was just like a little fun quest anyways. So yeah, not too worried about it. In the meantime, uh, we will be heading up through uh, through this area. We need to spawn the monster back. There we go. Easy stuff. And the thing is, uh, we want to head to the first... A little place right here, and I believe the chest is... Yeah, I see it already. Right around here. Just between these uh, two, like, dried riverbeds or whatever they are. Anything nice? Uh, nope. Some class mods. Not... not care... I don't care about that stuff. Alright, let's get to the last stash. Just right over here. Hopefully uh, none of them will spawn on me. It should be like right here somewhere. Not exactly sure. They do hide this one pretty well actually. But uh, I know it's like right near this end. Close by like... Hmm. See, so you see these little jutting out rocks. Now one of them is not exactly right, but uh, close. And uh, yeah, right here. There it is. I just usually back off pointing in that direction. I usually get to it, so... Oh, wow, crap. Wasted space, too. So, yeah, we got, like, two quests to turn in now. Oh, three. Wow. We got knock. We got Skyscraper, Army Assault, Knocked Out. Uh, we can do Knocked Out. Power Cores, and then Wanted Dead. We still got one of them left to do. So, yeah, let's uh, get that done. We need to uh, get up through there. And uh, when you're coming up through this area, uh, you know, <laughs> you see that sign up there that says, Stash your crap. Oh, man. Yeah, and uh, it's skags. Alpha skags usually spawn in that little area before you reach this ramp. But uh, once you get up here, they can't get to you, so not too worried about it. In the meantime, we're just going to kind of boost our way to the end. So, road to hill 30. <laughs> A uh, little uh, thing, because uh, 
you know, the Gearbox software company also made the Brother in Arms series. Once you get right up here, uh... Hmm, okay, they didn't trigger. Alright, I was hoping they would, but I guess not. So let's, uh, head right in. Oh! Not the most accurate. Because I'm being hit by bullets at the same time. Ah, screw it. Alright, Bloodwing, take him out in, like, one hit. There's one, there's two. I'm only really worried about that, a Devastator in the back. But as you can see, uh, he's taking massive damage to the Acid Element. So definitely worth your time to try to uh, uh, hit him with at least a little bit of that. Stop moving, damn it! Uh, they move way too quickly to aim. Alright, get out of my way. It's just the bullets uh, cost so much flint and uh, flinch, uh, and you really can't do too much about it. That's why like hip fire is so much better because uh, usually just get close and hip fire. Them. Why bother with trying to aim and get frustrated? So uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, starting to approach the end already, man. Ooh, another shock core. So we still got a ways to go. Um. Really, uh, I don't know if I want to do those quests, because uh, they're not really important at all. Really? You survived that. You son of a bitch. Oh. Oops. Yeah, shield down. <laughs> Suck it. Alright. Screw ya. Come on. Lance Pyro, and back. Aha! <laughs> So yeah, make it uh, way up here just for these, uh, this little red chest. And also, uh, yeah, so it's an alright rocket launcher, nothing I'm really uh, too concerned about. But mainly over there is another echo recorder from the Admiral. So yeah, we definitely want to pick that up along the way. Let's see. Alright, here we go. I'm not sure if I've offended you in some previous life and you're exacting revenge by watching me unravel at seams. I received your sit rep written with magic marker on the back of a cupcake. Mm -hmm. It reads, cats are cool. And you misspelled cool. I did work my entire life for this position. This echo is to inform you that I will be running the operation from here and will be ignoring all further transmissions from you. Goodbye. Yeah, so uh, Nox is finally fed up with the uh, little kid commander or admiral that they had. So uh, right up here, um, usually, Maybe yeah, this is the last of them. And not only the last of that, uh, we get another uh, engorge commercial from uh, Athena. Walking in the front door of the depot is not an option. The code you've acquired is for the side utility entrance. Be cautious. Athena out. Got critical. Yeah, this is the last of the assassin squads anyways. So this will be nice to finally take him out. Eat my blade! Alright. Maybe not. Lose your shield and die. <laughs> and that is it. We are finally done uh, killing all these uh, assassins. There's her nice little helmet. Showing off just for a little bit and it's gone. So uh, yeah, I think this is a great place to end off. Uh, we're starting to approach 20 minutes and I don't really want to push it too far past that. So uh, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Borderlands. The next part... um. Let's see, what do we have left to do, actually? We got Armory Assault, we have Drifter Lifter, and Core Collection. I don't know if I'm going to turn in these quests before the end of this uh, DLC, so... You know, uh, I'll get around to it. I mean, we're just completing quests, and you can easily turn them back in. Core Collection, yeah, I'm not. I'm pretty much not going to do the ones for Marcus. I uh, just kind of picked them up. Uh, they, they just allow you additional runs through the Armory to collect stuff, and I'm not too worried about that. So, 
uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, you know, expect the finale next episode. So, see you then.